I'm Sean Bose, concert visual designer in Los Angeles, California, and this is another Resolume Quick Start tutorial video, where we are learning to be better VJs one video at a time. Hell yeah. In this video, we're talking about managing colors. Managing colors is an essential part of VJing. Coordination of all the colors between the visuals, lighting, and lasers is essential to producing a well-designed show. In this video, I'm going to share with you a few techniques that you can use to set up control over your colors during a live performance. Before we jump into Resolume though, let's talk about the first technique you can use, and that is communication. Open lines of communication between the VJ, the lighting operator, and the laser operator are essential to producing a well-designed and coordinated show. Make sure when you get to front of house, you're getting comfortable with the other people who are working with you there so that you feel comfortable communicating openly during the show. Before the show starts, you can let them know if there are any brand colors for your artist that are gonna be the primary colors of the show, or if there are any colors that are off limits. Depending on the setting, one person usually kind of takes the lead role in making those color decisions throughout the show and sort of leading the way with everyone else following along. So you can set those expectations ahead of time if you have a really well designed show that's planned out beforehand, you might be in the lead. Maybe the lighting director is in the lead and you're gonna have to modify your visuals to follow their cues. Some things, of course, can be left to intuition and the magic of the moment, but clear communication will help even the most improvised shows seem like they were planned ahead of time and look as well-coordinated and well-designed as they possibly can. Now, let's hop into Resolume and talk about some of the techniques and tools that you can set up in order to make these quick color decisions on the fly during your live performance. All right, so we're inside of Resolume and another technique that you can use in order to remain color coordinated has to do with clip selection. As you're creating your show file, you might group clips that have similar color palettes into looks so that you can be switching back and forth and creating different cuts between looks that have a cohesive color palette. That way, if your LD shouts out, we're going red on the next drop, you know you have some columns of content that's already in red, ready to go, that works for drops. So being organized can be one solution to this problem, but sometimes your clips are not the color that they need to be and you need to make some adjustments using effects inside of Resolume in order to make them the color that you want. Now Resolume has a ton of effects, but there are a few key effects that I like to use for this specific purpose of color matching our clips. First effect we're going to talk about is Hue Rotate. If we drop Hue Rotate on and enable it, it doesn't do much, but you can quickly and easily, let's, uh, let's just get one of these clips going. You can use the hue rotate slider to cycle through all of the different colors and recolor your clip. This works especially well on, uh, on clips that have a pretty tight color palette. For example, this one is very much just red and white so you can see it cycles through the colors really nicely. And this can be great if you need to just tweak a color a little bit to an adjacent one, or uh, if you really want to change the color completely, you can drop this effect and uh, change the color and just kind of leave it there. Or you can attach this to a knob and, uh, and cycle through as needed in a live setting. This does also work on clips with a couple of colors, but you need to watch it out a little bit because it's going to cycle all of the colors in the clip. So you can see our clip is mostly blue, but it has a green screen. And if we cycle it, now we have a purple clip with kind of a bluish screen and a pink clip with kind of a purple screen and so on and so forth. So this can be good, but you kind of want to make sure that your content has uh, coordinating colors that rotate well. One trick I like to use here is you can incorporate the hue scale. If 
we take the hue scale and drop it down, it's actually going to restrict the colors in the, uh, in the clip down. And now our hue rotate slider is gonna go through the rainbow from red all the way through orange, yellow, green, blue, purple, pink, and back to red. So this is a way that you can be a little bit more tighter about what color is involved. You can take you know, a clip that has a couple of different colors in it and really lock it down to one color and very precisely choose which color this is going to be. Great thing about this is with the hue scale so low, zero is always red and like 57 is always blue. Doesn't matter what clip we pick, these clips have two very different colors, but if I have it on zero, every clip is red. If I have it, you know, if I set it to blue, every clip is the same color blue. Uh, so this hue scale can be really nice for being very precise about what colors are allowed to appear in your clip but you do lose a bit of those like secondary colors. So it's a, it's kind of a trade off. The next effect we can use is colorize. Colorize will take color and basically apply a, like a black to this color gradient over your clip. So you can see the light areas become red and the dark areas are black and it's just different shades of red in between. This way we can load up a palette and, uh, and just select very precise colors from a pre-selected palette. This could be great if your artist has very specific brand colors that you wanna stick to. You can toss those into a palette and have them always accessible to switch between. This method is a little bit darker in general, like it works really well on black and white clips, but if your clip is a little bit darker or has a lot of color in it already, like this is kind of darker compared to the clip itself. You're losing a lot of detail in the, in the darks, but it's another very precise way to choose a specific color. And with palettes, you know, you can save your own preset palette and like really choose very specific colors. So I really like that and I use that one a lot as well. Now let's take a look at how we can use tint for a similar effect. Now the tint effect allows you to choose the dark colors, what those are gonna change to, and the light colors, what those are gonna change to. And it applies the gradient in a similar way. So if I choose black and red, you can see it has basically the same effect as colorize. There's colorize, there's tint. But the cool thing about tint is we can choose a color for uh, our blacks and get kind of a duotone thing going on, get like an invert thing going on. So you get some really wild, wild looks with this. And this sort of effect works really well on black and white content as well. You can really precisely choose colors and you could go into palette mode as well to get things that are always within your brand colors. All right, so those are a few techniques that you can use inside Resolume for color management during your live performances. If you have any questions or anything else you wanna learn, drop that in the comments below. And if you like this video, please like, subscribe, and come back later for more videos. Thanks for watching, peace.